Leo, let's jump into this reading. So your overall energy for the reading is the chariot card. The emperor is driving the chariot without any restraints on the horses, just really trying to stay balanced. I do call it my honey, I'm home card since it's Cancerian. It's like rushing home to where the heart is. When we look at your recent mutual energy here, Leo, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is best friends, lovers, um, bride and groom standing and giving their vows, their cups of love to one another. In the energy that you have right now, there is some feeling of loss or sadness. There is a almost a pessimistic outlook, but I'm not seeing that as being uh, really the energy that's going to uh, carry the reading. I really see this as being pessimistic, you know, just wondering why life isn't easier, why the relationship isn't easier. When we look at how your person sees you, Leo, in terms of the future, they do feel as though they would like to grow old with you. They would like to go forward in their life with you. Uh, they, they think the world of you, quite honestly. I get the you know, the energy around this is that your person wants to be very successful, go to the next level, level up. How they view you, Leo, they view you as a legacy person with whom they could have a lifelong love affair, children, sharing the best of what life has to offer, somebody they could partner with. This is a marriage card again, the 10 of coins. For some of you, you may be married to this person. But for others of you, you know, we see the, the dog for loyalty. We see children. We see them viewing you as you are the one that can bring that into their life. Leo, we see in their heart space, they feel young, foolish, alive, very much willing to take the leap of faith. They want a new beginning with you. Uh, for some of you, this may be a new relationship, but for others, again, it's, you know, another chapter in life of leveling up. But your person is very enthusiastic, very joyful when they think about you. When we look at the energy of the way they see the path forward is through pure joy. They feel as though whatever will happen will happen very naturally. And because of it, you're in the energy that this person sees you as the happiest place for them in the world absolutely stunning reading from your person's point of view. The mutually hidden energy is the Four of Swords. There's some healing here. This can be physical healing, but it also can be just emotional healing. And what we see is that both of you feel wounded. Both of you feel sort of withdrawn from each other at the moment. Spirit is saying that this relationship, the advice is go for it. The star card is all about hopes and dreams for love manifesting. And so the star card is having inner beauty, outer beauty, spiritual. You know, it's all the elements that you want in a love relationship. When we look at the energy as you exit this period of time, and it is a timeless reading, but we see judgment, having to let something go, releasing something. So that is your outcome card. So sometimes people are in another relationship. They have to leave. Other times, you know, the relationship itself is having a rebirth, letting go. You know, there's a big turn of events here with the world card and the judgment card. So let's jump in and clarify this. There will be an extended reading for you on uh, the link is down below and I do have a, a, I have a code, a discount code and it's $2 off on the extended and you can get either the downloadable version of it or you can just get the view um, for 72 hours. So let's see what we have. Why is the chariot card here? Leo, your relationship looks like it's going through a major rebirthing and transition. Okay. So why is, look at that, rushing home, your person, you, you both of you want to rush towards each other. You feel like best friends, lovers, compatriots, partners. All right, so the Three of Cups means it's probably been friends for quite a while. There's a lot to celebrate. The Three of Cups, when we get the Ace of Coins with it, is actually an engagement. But we see the Page of Cups right now. 
So, I mean, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is making an offer like let's live together, let's do something really, you know, let's, um, let's see what happens here. Let's see what can grow from this energy between the two of you. There we go. Now, when I get justice and judgment, which I have here, oftentimes that means that somebody has just left a relationship. And so just, you know, this is a general reading, so not every aspect is going to apply to everybody. But I would say that there is a, a leave taking here. Somebody does likely initiate divorce papers, already has, and then the judgment is a finality of letting something else go in your life so or your partner's life. So why do we have the Two of Cups? Why is it here for the way the two of you feel about each other? The Two of Cups says that you have been very worried about this relationship. You get all up in your head about it. The Five of Cups, which is actually sadness, shows that when you feel as though this relationship has it hits a bump in the road, it's almost like the fun goes away because she's sitting here waiting for her comrades and there's nobody here. She has nine cups of wine, nobody to drink them with. So it does speak really harshly a little bit here to someone who may be going through a very rough divorce episode also. The energy here that flipped over on the top of the deck is your person wants to walk away from something. They are walking away. That is the eight of cups of release. Again, it looks like they're walking away from someone else because we get the five of coins. Your person feels very left out in the cold. Now, for those of you who it's vice versa, you know, that's, um, just take it as it resonates, okay? All the energies can be switched. The Ten of Pentacles, why is it here for the way they see you, Leo? They see you as the one they want to rush in and tell you. They want to rush in and they want to make an offer to you. That Knight of Swords energy is, is the energy of Gemini. Your person does want a new beginning with you, but they do feel locked down, restricted, the Devil card. They feel controlled by outside circumstances. We have the energy of the Sun card is clarified by the Page of Swords. So what I see here is a union that's coming together kind of out of the ashes of another union. So when we get this energy, healing energy, beautiful, the Queen of Cups, heart space, really loving each other, really wanting each other, really being willing to fight for each other. The world card again, spirit saying, close the cycle out, you know, come together, do whatever you have to do, you know, and what we see here is still some confusion. So, Leo, let's go around again and see if we can get more details out about this relationship. This is, um, you know, why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is there this feeling that you can't come together with your person? The Nine of Swords is worry. Yeah, Four of Cups says that if you don't, if somebody doesn't leave a situation, it appears that there's an intense feeling of loss of potential loss that you know time's ticking here in this situation it definitely is ticking so we get the Emperor card the Emperor energy is all about taking charge wanting to take charge of your happiness wanting to have be very strategic about it wanting for the two of you you both feel this way like you have to come up with a plan it does look as though the person who needs to leave is worried about money. And we see, you know, also possibly family members. And the Seven of Swords is telling us that there is something that is not honest about a situation that they're in currently. Okay. So, show us please, Spirit, if um, Leo's person wants to come to them. In the extended, we really look in depth at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. There we go. That's a yes answer. So for those who want to go to the extended, it might be worth it. Um, but let's take a look and see what the Ten of Coins is here. See, you both love each other. There is a tremendous desire to be together. The Queen of Swords is trumping the Knight of Swords in that the Queen of Swords comes up with a plan. 
the Knight of Swords speaks of it, talks about it, suggests it, but it looks like your person is coming forward towards you and telling you and sharing with you, Leo, what's going to happen and what it is that they want. In their heart space here, we have the Devil card, the Two of Swords. Your person wants this new beginning with you. Here we go. They are going to take it. Um, because we see them in the past or in the recent past, your person has been very much of the thought process that the devil card and the two of swords, they just can't do it. But when we get the clarifier of the fool card, we see them taking that leap of faith, actually going for it, you know. So let's see what, what we have here. Page of swords, you follow each other on social media, evidently. And we get, yep, your person looks as though... You know, they could be juggling too, but they want to come to you. But again, Leo, it could be you that has the, the um, committed relationship. But you, the two of you adore each other. You love each other. The, Leo, there you are in your reading. Look at that, the Leo King. And you want to nurture this relationship. You want to nurture and heal. What is it that we have here for the star card? What's the clarifier again? Another clarifier for the star card, Five of Swords. To have this, it looks as though there's going to be some pain. To follow the advice of spirit with the world card, with the world card, closing something out with the ju you know, this judgment card. Spirit is saying somebody will get hurt, there will be pain. But here we go. We see the judgment of divorce basically on an old marriage and a new partnership forming. So I'm going to leave it there and go to the extended Leo. So if you want to follow me over, thanks. And if not, send me a love from Chicago, send some back. And tell me where you're from in the comments, please.